Yeah, see Caleb's out. Sick. Oh, he lost to Razley. I don't know who Razley is. I think I've seen him before, but we're not going to talk about Razley. I don't know who that is. He's talking about G Extreme and Pongo. Pongo coming here and making the storm of this again. Guaranteed top guaranteed uh, top eight now, actually. Yeah, got third in doubles. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Losing to the Toxic Croak himself and the... Uh, I forget. No, the no oh, yeah. Gatsby. Yes, he did lose to no Gatsby. Anyways, uh, how's it going on? Tango has Tango has a lead. Just choosing is like not into get not engaged that much. I, as yeah. soon as I say it, he goes in for a grab, making me a liar. Oh my! Oh, I didn't even see what he stood on. The, no, he was, the block like <laughs> camouflage with the chest. I was like, what the? Some Ooh, that, oh wait, so oh. going up, going deep for it. Oh. And you would think G Extreme would know like what to look out for too, because he has a very, very yeah. solid steep. But you can't be quick attacking in my direction, sir. Yeah, he's got that minecar on lock. Oh, a lot oh, of stuff. Oh, he can oh. see no out of seal option. That is very rough to deal with. Yeah. Oh my god. 51% uncontested. Just gotta roll out. Okay, this uh I'm just walking in with the F tilt, not Yeah, he is he's good. chopping it up right now. Literally. <laughs> But he's got gold and diamond and a fair amount of resources. He's just choosing a whole seal right there. No need to overextend. No need to drop. Just go back, mine the options. Yeah. He got the lead, man. He got to come to you. Oh, is that, that a was huge. That was huge. Border. Gained all that stage for virtually nothing. Uncontested. Finally, G Extreme getting a chance to push the button and play the game. Really Shoot, smash that ledge. That's kind of like tried and true. Nothing yep. to change about that. Didn't do that for games. <laughs> Pongo with his lead, very good, oh. very good on him. Ooh, wait. He's fine. He had to burn his air dodge, but oh, very hard, very formidable. Not able to shield grab that Pikachu you dash attack. For some odd reason, if you have a slow grab, you cannot. Yeah, do and that to Steve grab. definitely has a slow grab because it's one of those like longer reaching grabs. Yeah, well, you know, if it has a delayed startup, actually. <laughs> So it's like he just reels back, then yeah. lets it go. So you can't spot dodge. It has, has to spot dodge. It has a really good range, but that too. Yeah, when you're getting like pressured by moves that are like fake safe, um, they definitely become safe safe. Oh yeah. So here we go. G Extreme finally get a chance to play a game. Oh Look god! Completely whiffs the forward there. But now Pango has to has to fight because he has no. Yeah, he's got nothing. No he's resources. he's got a sliver of stone. This and is, there it goes. This is literally G Extreme's oh, time. And we're <laughs> oh, good fan of pistol. It's literally G Extreme time to like go in and just hurt this man. Oh, that's a that's his chance to mine. There we go. Builds up the to storm. Drop all the stuff and let it go. And the teacher will still manage to find their way to him. Yeah, but that F smash, that's that's like oh. I, that's like a Steve special. If you know if if you feel like that you whip anything in front of the face, they're going to swing. It yeah. doesn't matter how good the Steve is, and I blame Jake for doing this. I blame <laughs> Jake. Jake. Because like Steve's were already like they were already just F smashing, just having like random F smash call outs regardless. But then Jake pulled up and I was just like Jake had the one run. And now everyone all Steve's are just gonna be like swing. <laughs> so slap. far free thinkers. So far free free thinkers when I pull out the F smash. Yeah. Wanna pick Steve? All oh. extreme, like taking taking the sleep back. She's gonna go mad oh deep with God. it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, he wanted it all, and he uh, he got something all right. Yeah, that's something might have not been what he asked for for Christmas. However, he's still in the lead. Yeah. Steve delivering. What 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 was a game that was definitely like getting derailed, not looking in his favor at all? As now he's turned this game completely around. Had a full 180. Yeah. Sending him back on stage. Pango not getting a chance to play. It doesn't even have that many materials, too. Yeah. Has to pick this next get up option very carefully. His F smash is not working, but also they're not putting him in an extremely bad situation. I love the way G Extreme is playing this. I don't know what G Extreme is exactly doing. Well, I mean, well, he didn't do it right there. But, like, before that, he was just forcing Pongo to use so many resources and is never giving him the chance to, yeah. like, replenish at all. But now Pongo's finding his hands with Punishing oh, G Extreme is, a lot. scary because he has Diamond in hand. A back air will kill this rat. Oh, yeah. That's, and that, that's is, that is what he's looking Look for. His shield. shield is low now, so he's got to be careful. Could even get shield poked. But he's back. Center stage. Press up B. I'm there. The, uh, see what I mean, bro? Meet me by the Pokeball. And they catch you doing anything. That S smash is coming oh, out. That no. Was such an important spot dodge. Because if he didn't, he was getting caught. And then up smash him. And he would have died. Potential signs of life. Back here. We'll do it. Sending it straight off stage. G Extreme takes that game. Oh, wow. Good set for user. He got 17. 
I think this is really good for G-Extreme because oh, yeah. taking the first game means you have uh, advantage in terms of the stage picks. And oh. having advantage in the stage picks versus Steve is really good because then it means he can't... Look at, fuck, look at fucking Tyler right in the background, bro. Just look at this guy. Look at this guy <laughs> sipping his... <laughs> sipping his whatever he is. Think yeah, he'd be so cool his. with his fake tattoo look on Look at me. I got a tattoo look at on my look arm. At, look at him looking right at the stream. He's about to get yeah. smoked in Mafia later. He doesn't know oh, it yet, though. See, he don't know. I'm I don't Mafia. Know if I'll, I don't know if I'll stay for Mafia, but who knows? Depending on how fast the bracket goes. Yeah. We'll see, man. We'll see. Only because I got work in the morning. Don't oh, don't, true. Don't deter that from you being the menace in Mafia. <laughs> if he wants to cause problems on oh, purpose. Oh, this Steve that guy. Are know. you kidding me? I guess he's like, it's your counter pick anyways. You're going to pick a stage that's good for Steve. I might as well go Steve. Yeah, but now he's clearly getting a, a GX. Now uh, Pango has a point to prove. So granted, GSGM is like usually top eight when he comes to the Encore. He usually like you know goes to both Steve and Hive Mind. Yeah. Okay. Steve okay. He's making it back. He's got the ledge. Oh, okay. I rolls into the mine car. Oh. Steve did it before. Yeah. They did a gentleman mine, but now we're just seeing like dirt blots all over the place. <laughs> Here we go right back into this. Okay. Oh, good jump out. To avoid the second hit. Uh, and Jixxia just feels into uh, pick the... This is literally like an, a match <laughs> up you'll see actually in Minecraft. Oh, oh my god! TBZ moment. Steve, wow, that was probably the most aggressive like Minecraft I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, really? he really met him up on that plat and said, Get the hell out of here. Get out of here, man. I want, I want it. Choose the punch, but it has no iron, so he can't anvil. Jixxia just with that. Speaking of anvil. So both of them are not wanting to commit. As soon as I say that Pango goes in with a dash that oh, I now we're both just swinging. Going for the up throw. Oh, but that iron oh, back here. We'll take, take it. it. Okay. Who took it? Oh, oh. so large. Good minecart. It was able to stall out the dirt blocks a bit. Yes, it was. And there we go. Wonderful yeah. forwarder. Uh, but now Pango. he's got that nice shiny diamond. Yes, he does. Is right back into and it. right back to mining. Let's go. <laughs> Look at his neutral. So invigorating. And here we go. He starts swinging. Pango wants the offensive. Oh, he's he's he is stuck, but he manages to roll out of that bad situation. It's very. I'm, I'm not many. I don't feel like a lot of people know that you can roll out of Steve's like up tilt. You just got to see what way he's walking. Yeah. If he just picks the direction of the walking, he can't do anything about it. <laughs> you minecart me. I minecart you. <laughs> It is equivalent exchange. Look at that. Catching, oh catching the issue, trying to be aggressive and get out of there. Looking like unequivalent stocks in a minute. Oh. Oh. It's a little tea bag, but not the ex <laughs> I couldn't tell if that was a taunt or just the he was just crouching. I think it might have been a, I think it might have been taunt. If he was just standing there like doing it multiple yeah. times, yeah, that's the taunt. So oh. many minecarts this game. Yeah, both of them are just trying to just barrel the way into each other. Yeah. They don't want to sit down and play the Steve neutral. Oh, Jigstream's diamond something broke. Yeah, dude, I think it was a pickaxe. So no forward airs, no. Uh, oh, he still has a no sword, though. Attacks. Up throw, not no back airs. No, that's a huge one. No back airs. Yeah. Oh, that'll do it. One minecart. He's got to burn this diamond right now and try to get the stock. Oh. Oh, hello. Can he make the play? Yes, he can. No, he's got. Oh. Jesus Christ. That's a 20%? Oh, my God. Fongo's favorite setup and so much confused you could not see what was going on Bongo at all. Is in such about a good to get right now. About to get lapped. Oh, oh my god, he was. Jesus Christ. Another mind to, to the for dome. The, the up throw kill, but. Ah, no cool loss to Solars. No, 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 two of our highest seeds are now out. Ooh. But that backer will and do it. That'll Catching do it. Him. G Extreme. Not a terrible show of his, uh, Steve. I think it was if there was an opportunity to whip it out in this uh, in this set in particular, it was definitely on his counter pick. Oh yeah. So good on him for trying it in the best position he could have. But something I don't understand is that, that they went on to Kalos. He chose to play that character on Kalos instead of Pikachu. Yeah, that is true. That does not make any sense to me. So let me see who we got next. Uh, Jesus Christ, we're gonna have so many. What? Literally, the top eight losers is literally just a Westchester takedown. We're gonna have Solars versus either Jay or Hayes. Uh, Tranko versus 
I gotta refresh my Joey's Road Tour and our Summit Sun. And we have a uh, game number three back on PS2. Got the Summit music playing. Speaking of that, Jesus Christ, all this damage coming out 43%. G Extreme doing as hard as just to get through. And this is where it starts. Read the peak of loop correctly. Out. Oh, tries to jump out but gets snagged by the tail. Alright, but that dash attack, such a good call. That's a, they, they are so good with these dash attack call outs, man. Oh no. Racket is squash. I think going back to Pikachu now is kind of a Pango and it's a good position. It's like Pango had momentum from coming off of that first game. And I think he figured out like how um, Pikachu wanted to play right at the right at the end of like how game game one. True, true. Another dash that catch him, catch them mining. They can't act out of the mine. Try to send them off stage, but now Pango is just like retreating back to central and not giving G Extreme much of a chance to punish. As soon as I say that, he hits him with the back air. Okay, stop making me a liar, Pongo. <laughs> seemed, this seemed to be a trend of yours. Just refreshes the the axe right there. Oh, that is cheating. That was some good block placement. He put the block right over the Pikachu forward air, and that was great stuff. Oh, but that S smash! Didn't get the land on the plat. No at all. Oh, that is rough for him. Oh, now here comes the pressure. Oh, he that was so reads smart. the roll away. And now Pongo has the pressure coming up. Oh, that was a wonderful oh, idea. Uh, almost air dodged the whole uh, Thunder, but that is a very active boy. I don't understand why Steve has such a good air dodge. Oh, good roll away. All right, good job hitting with the, with the dash attack. Still not enough to get the kill. Reaching just throwing his moves out, trying to make something happen for himself. With the Nair up smash, though, he will take it. Now he has to be careful. I feel like he's not out of this game yet. He definitely like brought it back before like uh, Congo was able to put too much percent on him. But now he's got to make up all this bread. Oh, my God. Miss input, or did he mean to short? Yeah. Well, I think he only did one. He didn't do a second one. Yeah. Unless I'm mistaken. No, no, that was one. And oh, that, you know, smart idea. And you that had shield to drop is that. almost done. Can't be. Had to be careful. Pongo really all over the place. He's ready yeah, to swing these backers. Is, this is scary. He's putting out so many strong hitboxes right now. He might just try to like quick attack back to center stage, but he Can't places the it. block. He prevents him from doing it. There he gets oh. up. Okay. Damage is racking up. Yeah, Penguin's got to be careful though. He's a little, he's a little low on mats. He might have to, yeah, give up this ledge trap, set up the wall, yeah. mine a little bit more, and then refresh the neutral. Oh, well, smart from G Extreme. Oh, almost gets the grab there. I have the burst option. Uh, Muscle burst through. option minecart. Oh my god, that minecart ate two kegels. That's privilege. That is privilege. Got these, <laughs> these e carts run on electric energy out here. <laughs> See if we gotta oh. start mining some batteries. Well, now I thought the I thought the, the cart was gonna come back. Yeah. Oh. Grab him. Able to get out of there. Oh. Oh. Idea, but you can't stay He's too long on the ledge. Too long. He's at 140 percent. Barely have a second of uh, high frames at that point. Yeah, very smart. That that was an immediate. That should have been an immediate get up attack. And that oh. has not been working at all. Yeah. And, oh my God. Wait, but that down smash. We'll do it. Spata's down smash. You get it going. Yeah. Pango now grabbing that situation, knowing that it wasn't going to work on Pikachu dash attack, but mm. unfortunately rolling away when you have like little to no stage to work with. Anyways, is going to get caught by another option more often than not. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm not too upset about that. Yeah. This is this is still fairly even. Surprisingly so. After it's just like so many times, like whenever Pongo has the advantage, it just looks so dominating. Yeah. I mean, this is still like Steve like uh, that. with Diamond, so he can definitely make this up very quickly. And I feel like DXG might be just choking him just a little bit, oh my just God. a little bit. You see these F match? He's trying to he's trying yeah. to hard call out something, but he, yeah. he just sit I think back he's, and play he's, the news. He's trying to call out the quick attacks. I'm not talking about Pongo. I'm talking about GX, oh. GXG. GXG wants to call something out, and he's trying to force the situation to happen. See, like right there, tried to force his way in. Saw so, like, you know, maybe he can attack and Pongo just like, you know, throwing out down smash. And now he can he can S-Mash again and GS Stream has, has to get away. He cannot interact right now. This is very scary for G Stream. Oh, he is on a one-way express to forward air. Yes, indeed. Pongo taking game number two in just such a commanding fashion. That was a close game, but 
I assure you, Pongo was not was not shook in the slightest. No, he he was definitely comfortable. Got a little bit of coaching from your boy. Uh, I think that's Lingling. That is Lingling. Oh, okay, I couldn't see his face. Oh wow, I I know Tyler. First up, I know exactly what Tyler's coaching Pongo. He wants the fifty dollars. To be honest, Tyler like Steve. No. What What do you think Tyler just said to Pongo? Huh? He said the minecart more. You're doing a great job with that. Just keep doing that. Jump in his face and minecart. He will do it. And I think Jay Grunt just won his match. So we got good for him. So we got literally top four. Top, literally, yeah, four Westchester in top eight and are all on the loser side. Well, not four. Yeah, four Westchester in top eight and are on the loser side. Well, not yet. Not yet. Going we still have Joey's here. World. We have Joey's, Joey's World Tour and uh, Summit Sun uh, uh, back into this game. Back into PS2. Indeed. Oh, good string. Ooh, get it going. 50%. I see you, G Extreme. Lily must have told you how to do, this, do some extra combos. Oh, my what God. The he, he, was, hell? he was not afraid. He's like, yeah, I'm going to come in with an air. I mean, after all that, you know, Pongo has kind of like had been catching G Extreme's aggressive options a lot. So doing shit like that, you know, no, no fear. Oh, there was no threat. Frames. There was no threat. And especially like the things you do be doing, oh. uh, throwing out, um, they cancel the block, so he can just act right after that. And I don't think a lot of people catch on. You would think, you figure like GX would be ready to like punish like, you know, him canceling right out of the blocks and whatnot pretty quickly. But, um, whew. Yeah. Yes, sir. -y. There we go. Dash is like perfect whiff punish. Alright, finally. Gee, that's the first grab I've seen like all set from G Extreme. Yeah. He hasn't had a lot of opportunities to uh, sneak those in because he's, he's just piling the aggression with these T jolts and these dash attacks. Yeah, man. Oh, but that was a perfect opportunity. Oh, can he to punish us? Oh, oh my god, and he died optimal. for that. He had just enough mass for that too. Okay, and that oh, forward. Oh, that'll do it. The tip barely of the forward nick, air. Barely nicking him. Diamond on deck. That's Gotta be very is. careful, because here comes the damage. Oh, only gets a dash attack, but it's still... It's still, it's still something up. He still has the lead it's coming still, out. It's still a diamond move. Do, do, do you see the way he's swinging? Yeah. He is just I not, hate Steve. He is right in front of Pikachu's face, and he is not afraid to keep Steve swinging. Steve players and Roar players go to the same school of ghost busting, bro. I promise you. They sit at the same lunch table. They definitely do. <laughs> And that lunch table is a dangerous place to go to because you might get swung at. They're like, yeah. sorry, there's a ghost on you. Might spit food at you. <laughs> oh my god, perfect. Perfectly spaced. That wasn't even called that perfectly spacing. That was just like a conditioning option. Oh. I do see managing to get off there. No yeah. bread having to pay. But now I don't think Pongo has a... He does not have pickaxe. Yeah, he's got to get back to his box. Unfortunately, it is on the plat. But he what, but you does know have a sword. <laughs> He does. You know, there are things I'm like, I'm watching this matchup play out, and there are definitely things that I, that I know that the G Extreme is taking a, uh, a whole, uh, a lot of um, advantage of, like forcing it, like forcing him to like come <gasps> out and do. Oh my God! <gasps> okay. Oh, he paid for it with his life. He 100. If you got that second quarter, that would have been the set that right then and there. That would have been, been insane. That would have been insane. I would have started cheering for Pongo. I'd be like, Yo, is this Steve? Pongo's nasty. Pongo definitely is nasty, but he's he got to be careful. That was so freaking smart. Stopping any sort of momentum Pikachu had coming forward at the forward edge was by putting a block on the anvil. Holy hell. Yeah. It's a, it's a, I feel like Salty from right now. Guess what's going the little things. Holy shit. <laughs> that, was, that was so smart. Oh, Pongo is in a precarious situation. He might have diamond right now, but he is out of mass. Yes, he is. I don't know, now. all he's gonna rely on is his swinging options. He's getting and caught being too complacent, sitting in shield. And Pikachu loves that. Yeah, for real. But Pikachu also loves throwing out these S smashes that is yeah. never hit once yeah, yet. It's still not hit, but you know what? If it ain't, I mean, this time it's broke, so he should it, fix it. it. It is broke, but sometimes getting hit with a broken clock, that shit still hurts. Mm hmm. Right twice a day. And just using a hold back and try to go in with the minecart, but he just blew all of his uh, all of his match trying to just get something on started there. And that forward I, I might don't just know if do that's it. it. Nah. Yeah, he has to burn his air dodge though. So now he's without resources, but neutral gets up into rolls. He's got to be careful. He is definitely moving up that F smash now. Oh, oh absolutely. Oh, never and mind. And one time it would have hit. He doesn't do it. 
Oh, Jesus oh, he could have, like, F smashed him or something. I, I just don't think he realized he whipped something that soon. <gasps> good wait, good wait. Didn't, like, immediately, like, try to swing on Another him. Oh, oh, wait, are you in. kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding Center me? Stage. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> no, he is not. And he built, he built the casa on him. <laughs> what the heck?